Hello, I'm Nina and I want to show you how you can set up your limits with top down bottom up from Baco. To adjust the cords at the back of the uh, fabric holder, you have to loosen up this screw, hold the cord. Make sure it goes under the screw. This is how I hold it. And then tight. Be very gentle with that. As soon as you feel that the cord is caught up, stop. There we go. Okay, so now that your bottom limit is set, the top limit is set by itself. Magic aid. And I'll show you how this is done. So now let's raise the shade up all the way to the head rail. Now, at this point, check and see if it's absolutely level. You may have to make some micro adjustments from the back of the, on the clips. So now, let me have the limits. What happens when you raise your, you, you lower your shade midway, raise the bottom. As you reach to this point, the clutch stops. So that means that you cannot overturn your shape and mess up with your cords. The stopper that's inside the trap limits this position and prevents you from overturning your shape. So now I want to explain you how this works. This is the mechanical stopper that it's inserted in the handrail. You need only one stopper like this for one shade. And this piece sits somewhere in the middle of the track between two spools. It doesn't matter where, which spools exactly. It's long, as, long, as long as it's in the, in the track and both rods are going through. So when you start, lowering your top down to the very lowest point, those sliders start moving. The slider for the top down operation opens up a range. And the range is between these two sliders. So that means that the other one responsible for the bottom up would go only to the point where the first slider is moving. So this is your range, and this is why it's so easy to set it up with one uh, easy goal. You set up the lower limit that automatically creates the upper limit. And this is it.